So I'm in Hanover now and uh, I'll try to see how I can get to Wolfsburg Autostadt uh, without a guide, just using their road signs. Yep. So I got my ticket and uh, from here I will go to the Hanover main station and then I'll take another train there to Wolfsburg. Um, so I bought the tickets to uh, Wolfsburg and um, I need to go to platform 9. Uh, they designed their station in a very unique manner. Look at this. This is a platform up here. This is uh, platform 2. So this is actually the track of the train. And then if I turn this side, you will see another track. And as I walk towards, every track is actually horizontal above us and then down here will be the shops and then these are the staircase and the elevators to platform 4 as you can see and that's the platform and then uh, I will have to walk to platform 9 so uh, ahead of me is platform 8 so I'm, I'm currently underneath another platform and to the left and to the right are actually shops so it's a very unique design so this is platform 8 and uh, platform 9 and 10 is ahead of me so I'll be going up to platform 9 very interesting design very very clever design yeah so uh, yep I will go up from here So, because so many people use their public transport and um, so this station is the main station so there will be a lot of platforms up here Yeah, very very clever design So, as you can see there's a train That's uh, platform 9 Is that my train? So from up here it looks rather modest and then when you look down is where all the busy shops and commuters are running, walking around. So they just announced that the trains will be delayed by 15 minutes because there are vandalism on the tracks. So uh, yeah, this is platform 9 and there's G, F and then behind me is E and then there is D, C, B, A. So if the train, look at the other train there, if it's parked at the front half of the track, it will go one direction. If the train is parked at the other half of the track, it will go another direction. So uh, it's a very clever system but uh, you have to be educated enough to really use it. Yeah, very extensively designed system. So we are here. Hmm. 
So I've made the journey from Hanover to Wolfsburg and apparently the uh, train station ticketing system is a bit confusing so uh, yeah I bought tickets to Wolfsburg but I boarded a train from my designate, designated platform that my ticket isn't valid for but the train heads to Wolfsburg as well so uh, I have no idea. So now uh, it says Auto start to. You can see the huge chimney coming up. So I guess it's a walk away, but uh, a long walk. And in front of me, there is a uh, beautiful building which I have no idea what it does. And uh, it's nice. Yeah. Let's take a photo. I can see that uh, that huge Volkswagen logo is over there. That's where I want to go. That's a gigantic factory. Huge. I think every everything here might, might belong to Volkswagen anyway. So I guess I should walk through here. And uh, I see an, an escalator on the other side that says Autostadt. So I guess that's where I should be heading. Interesting. There it is. There's the escalator to Autostadt, Auto City, where I should be heading. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay, these are the largest doors I've ever seen. Look at them. There are mechanisms in there where they they are almost like a boat's sail. <coughs> so, yep, I believe in winter they can close these huge, gigantic doors. Wow, that's crazy, huh? Let's go inside. Okay, so the first thing that we do after we come in here, you will have to come to this counter, this ticketing counter, and then you only need to pay 15 euros, 15 euros, and then you will get this card. You will get this, this card that allows you access to the entire park. Okay, so we are here now. That's where the bridge is, the huge doors. I'm over here, and then um, uh, the nice lady over there she recommended me that I should hit this direction so which will be here because she said as I exit here this is the museum for the brand and I'm not sure what are these but then she said uh, this is the Audi pavilion this is the Porsche pavilion and then I'm not sure which one is Bugatti which one is uh, Skoda and the rest and VW will be here so yep let's begin our journey yep this is the dock um, next to the main pavilion the main entrance and uh, damn the water is so clean so clear and look at that it's a fantastic place another thing is that the Germans right they are very pragmatic people they won't do things like uh, this is my entrance you're not allowed to smoke here and they put a sign and then they call it a day off because they know that someone might need to smoke so look at where i'm standing here an umbrella here and then below me there's the ashtray yeah they are very pragmatic people they won't do nonsense bullshits cool i like the german way hi guys it's bobby here and uh i'm here at volkswagen's hq Wolfsburg, the Autostadt, or they call it the um, Auto City. So it's been my lifelong dream to be here. Finally, I made the journey. So I think this is the main cafeteria where they sell souvenirs. There are little cars for children to play. Yes. 
very interesting. I believe this is to uh, teach children on road safety. Okay, these look like some tables where you get to customize some memorabilia. These again look like they are for children to play or adults. They look very interesting. Uh, I wonder if these are some prototypes from Ferdinand Porsche. Let's walk up there and have a look. This looks like a, uh, a place for me to um, have a look around. Yep. Oh, this is just, oh, there's a Lamborghini Miura there. That's a Miura gonna head over there even when you read the right it makes you appreciate Volkswagen you see it, it, they write here in the 1960s French automaker Renault was the European leader in designing alternative body styles Wow how many car makers would do this build something put your competitors car there and celebrate their history now Back in the 20s or 30s, right, there's no such thing as Formula One, okay? And if you want to make your name, make a claim, Le Mans is the way to go. This is why certain brands are so uh, respected, okay? We have no idea what's that, what's the Lorraine Dietrich, Bentley, 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 Alpha, 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 Lagonda, Bugatti, De La Haye, Bugatti, Ferrari, Jaguar, Mercedes-Benz, Jaguar, and then we come to here, Jaguar, 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 Ferrari, Aston Martin, Ferrari, 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 Ford, 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 Porsche, Porsche. All right. And then come back to here, Porsche, Porsche, Renault, Alpine, Porsche, 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 Porsche Jaguar, J Jaguar, Mazda, the only Japanese car brand, Peugeot, Peugeot, McLaren, Porsches again. And then BMW, Audi, 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 Bentley, which is actually an Audi as well. Audi, 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 Peugeot, Audi, 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 Porsche. Yeah, this is why these brands are respected. So in the grand scheme of things, look at it. BMW won once. Mazda once. Mercedes-Benz once. Ford four times on the dot. Ferrari a multitude of times. Five, six and then a Jaguar as well, four or five times, Bugatti once, and uh, Bentley quite a number of times during the old era, and then it's practically dominated by Porsche and Audi towards the later part of the years. So yeah, that's Le Mans. Even Renault has once, and Bentley a few times, right? Okay. Uh, this is the so-called Lamborghini Pavilion and I just went in there and came out in less than 15 seconds because I think it is the dumbest it is the dumbest building ever we go in there just staircase looking at multiple screens and on the screens are playing videos of the Aventado running around and then uh, that's really loud uh, Lamborghini V12 sounds okay this car will flip in and uh, maybe they get to see the car flipping in and uh, yeah that's about it oh luck luckily I came out at least I get to see that whole Aventado uh, on a table got flipped by Bobby yeah it's freaking flip table pointless yeah at least I see the car flipped <laughs> yeah <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> All right, so I just got out from the uh, Lamborghini Pavilion. That's the Skoda one, but there's nothing in there. Just a few cars, one circle, and uh, I'm out. And I'm interested to see what they have inside here. I think I sort of grasped a concept of this. This entire park has multiple car showrooms, and they built the car showrooms in a manner where 
is way more appealing than the usual ones you see in the city. I guess that's it. So let me see what they have inside here. And uh, I think Ausgang is exit. This is in Eingang. I don't know. Now, if, when you enter the Audi Pavilion, they'll pass you a sphere. All right. And, um, and uh, I should try and put this sphere here and then it will light up something and then it allows me to customize my sphere English to continue oh, photo time yeah it snaps a photo of me continue my name really hey why the keyboard like that anyway me why and continue what do i get okay that's it all right all these are the same and let's see what they have in here escalator yep okay i'm not sure if you guys have heard of this before look at this there's a serial code there right and this looks like a cylinder right and in the middle there's actually a lift Okay, all these cars inside the entire silo, okay, are cars that are waiting for customers to come here to pick up. So if you buy a Volkswagen here, if you decided in Europe, you decided to pick your car up over here, they will put your car in these silos and then you can come to Autostadt here to collect your car and you get to witness your car being delivered in this spectacular fashion. You see, one car is going up there. See that? One car is being hoisted by the lift automatically to put up on where it's supposed to be. And then when the customer is here, they get to witness their car being brought down. All right, very, very unique. It's a show off. It's an engineering show off. Okay. So this entire place, Autostart, is like Ferdinand Piak's dream, you know, to, to monumentalize his his contributions to the Volkswagen group yeah is it has become a landmark by itself for Wolfsburg and then uh, it creates tourism people come here to visit all this but I just find that some of the pavilions are very lackluster all right but some are quite amazing this is supposed to be the glass factory this used to be the glass factory where they hand built the Volkswagen Phaeton here and then as a visitor you get to witness the car being built all right but I'm not sure what they have converted it to be now I'll go there and have a look all right so this is like the most impressive of course this is Autostadt everything is about Volkswagen Everything has to be about Volkswagen, right? They are the parent company. So this is the, the it's like their flagship showroom. Yeah, there are merchandise, there are merchandise shops here. There are uh, huge showrooms, test drive units, and then you can put your car up on the silo and then you come here to collect them. There are places to sell accessories. There's a huge cafe there. Yeah, this is like the flagship Volkswagen showroom. All the models are here, the Touran, the Cross Polo, the Volkswagen Up, the Passat, all track. They're all here. Oh, this is super cool. Look at this. This is a physical, digital display board. Okay, so it's just, it's like black and white. Oh, this is super cool. So every single chip there flips to display things. Look at it. So when it displays anything, there's sound. Wow, this is super cool. High-tech stuff. I like. Yep. Now this has got to be the most beautiful pavilion of all. This is the Porsche Pavilion and uh, it looks amazing. It looks as if there's no entrance. It looks almost like it's a monolith, you know, just a structure, a sculpture. But 
It looks amazing and I would like to touch the material. What is this material? It's metal. So this entire sculpture is metal work. You can listen to it. So it's a gigantic piece of piece of metal that is sculpted to hang here. It looks beautiful. It looks absolutely beautiful. So Hi. This is the Porsche Pavilion. Yeah. And there are echoes because it's metal. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. Let's go have a look. This is the Porsche Pavilion. In the beginning, I looked around but couldn't find the car I dreamed of, so I decided to build it myself. Yep. Very Porsche. Hello. Uh, ah, nice. So, very beautiful. Look at that. This is like the history from the 356 and all plotted along a timeline. Look at it. Looks good, huh? I think it looks fantastic. Very artistic. Yeah. Very, very artistic. So what do I what do I see? The, the original 911, the 928, 944. Yeah, all of them are here. All the significant ones, the 918, Spider. Yeah man. Looks good. And then these are the current models, you know, they sort of like come from there all the way here. Yeah, very nice concept. Very beautiful. Very beautifully made. Yeah. But I've driven all these cars, so... Uh, yeah, interesting. Let's have a look, see what we have here. Yeah, they just won Le Mans again. Oh, that's the Le Mans racer. There you go. Porsche just won again, despite the difficulty, yeah, so it's like a very simple experience center, thank you, yep, that's the Porsche Pavilion, yep. Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess I've sort of covered all the important ones. Almost everything here at Autostadt. Of course, if I come here a few years earlier on, I will get to see, I'll get to witness the uh, Phaeton being built. Now that it's out of production. Uh, yeah. But still, it's, it's a place that you will not, you should bring your family and come and visit here. You know, it's beautiful. Your kids will be happy. And, uh, you know, when, when big companies do something like this, right, it's not to make money, it's a contribution back to the society. Yeah, so they create this as a legacy. And uh, yeah, very nice. I'm happy I came here.